Hey, Redeemer family, here at your church, we are always trying to find ways to keep you informed as to all the amazing things that are taking place here at Redeemer and the uh, and the people who are making them happen. And so we are going to have a new monthly segment uh, on the pastoral update that uh, that we're calling Farm to Table, where we're going to walk from our farm to our communion table and in the process interview someone who's either in the church or on staff at our church so that you can get to know folks uh, and know what's happening around here and put names with faces as well. first ever guest on Farm to Table is Judson Van Wyk. And so here we go. You ready, Judson? So ready. First question as we walk, who's this here? This is my wife, Lena. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this is little Junia. She is three months old. This is Junia's she's, uh, Junia's first time on TV? Um, no, she's been on TV many times. Oh, yeah, yeah, I figured she's so. A, she's yeah. a pro. This is my first time now. <laughs> Judson, uh, what do you do here at Redeemer? I am our director of college ministry. Okay. And uh, been doing that for about six years now. And why is your name Judson? So my grandfather was named uh, Judson after a Baptist missionary named Adoniram Judson. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, where was he a missionary to? Adoniram was in Myanmar. Myanmar. Um, so I actually went on a trip to Myanmar when I was in college, and that's when I found out about the name uh, myself. Right. So tell me a little more about college ministry here. What does college ministry at Redeemer look like? So it's pretty multifaceted because we're a partnership between the church and the campus. So we have a fellowship for college students that happens after church every week. Um, we go for a meal, talk about faith um, after the 11 o'clock service. Uh, but we also have a campus ministry on campus right down the road at Guilford College uh, where we do all kinds of stuff. Large group fellowship, um, evangelistic events, small group Bible studies, mentoring, crisis care, shenanigans, all kinds of things. And who works with you in college ministry here at Redeemer? So Amelia Blanchard, who's also our music director uh, here, is uh, working part-time with me and has been the last couple of years, but uh, as many of you know, is finishing up uh, at the end of this month and is actually going full-time in music, which will be a very sad uh, loss for college students, um, but really exciting for, for her calling and for the church. So we're excited for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. Uh, tell me the most college, college college ministry story that you have? Probably the most college classic moment recently was a couple weeks ago. Uh, there's a guy who's been coming to our fellowship on campus who is not a believer, uh, who finally made the gigantic life-altering, eternity-altering decision that it's time to go all in and follow Jesus. And so naturally, the rest of the guys decided that the only proper way to celebrate an occasion of such weight uh, was to go to McDonald's afterwards. And uh, I mean, this is a tough pill for me to swallow as the husband of an organic farmer. <laughs> uh, but uh, in college ministry, you just got to roll with it. I mean, Jesus and McFlurries. That's the way that you do it. That's right? right. I love it. All right. One last question since we're here at the table. One last right. question. If people from our church family want to support you in college ministry, how do they best do that? Three big ways come to mind. Um, one is we have a actual volunteer team of people from the parish that meet once a month to figure out ways to bless our students and provide meals for them and mentor them and things like that. Um, so you can join our uh, college ministry volunteer team. Second, if that's too much of a commitment, uh, we also just need folks to host lunches for our students after church on the 11 o'clock service. So you could host a lunch. Um, and third, um, we have our ministry here in partnership with an organization called the CCO. And uh, with them, I actually fundraise uh, my salary. So if financial support or prayer support uh, for that ministry is something that you'd be interested in, also love to talk to folks about that. Farm to Table, Judson Van Wyk, College Ministry at Redeemer. There you go.